Hi there, I'm Jenny, I'm part of Audacious Church, Central Campus and Manchester East Region. The verse we're looking at today is one of my favourite verses in Proverbs, which is Proverbs 4.23. Above all else, guard your heart, for everything you do flows from it. Or as another version says, above all else, guard your heart, for it's the wellspring of life. I love the image that the heart can be a wellspring, bubbling up and bringing new life, and that the writer emphasises the importance of our hearts in setting the course for everything else that we do. This may mean different things to you than it does to me, and there are many precious things to guard within our hearts. For example, love, peace, holiness, joy, vision and hope. There are also many things to guard our hearts from, from being taken advantage of, from jealousy, from anger, from bitterness and sin, and so on. To me, this verse is mainly meant to guard my heart from taking offence and to protect relationships in the way that I react with others. Above all else, guard your heart for everything else you do springs up from it. There are bound to be countless situations in life where we have opportunity to take offence at others. The way someone wrote that text or email, how they looked at us funny, how they behaved, how people have not behaved or acting in ways that we expected or thought that they should. And if you feel overlooked or disrespected, for example. Being offended by something little might seem like a small thing that we can shrug off, or we think we can just avoid that person that has upset us. But if we don't deal with offence, well, it festers and grows and causes division. Proverbs 17 verse 9 warns, Whoever covers over an offence seeks love, but he or she who repeats the matter separates close friends. Offence is an extremely effective tool of the enemy to bring suspicion, mistrust and division within friendship groups, working relationships, families and unfortunately within churches. In John 13, 34, Jesus said that all men will know that you are my disciples if you have love for one another. So you name it, the enemy will try and put an offence on it as he seeks to destroy anything he can, which is a demonstration of God's love to this world. The good news is that Proverbs also recognises the problem with the heart, but also gives us an antidote for this, which unsurprising is, surprisingly, unsurprisingly, is our love for one another. Proverbs 10 verse 12 says, Hatred stirs up strife, but love covers all offences. And Proverbs 17 verse 17 recognises the power of friendship in getting us through hard times, saying, A friend loves at all times, and a brother is born for term, times of adversity. Jesus backs this up, unsurprisingly, in the New Testament. In John 13, 34, he says, A new command I give to you, love one another as I have loved you, so you must love one another. This is a command. So in the same way we can decide to take offence, we can also decide to love one another instead, with a love which covers all offences, just in the way that Jesus' love covered all our offences when he gave his life for us. No, it will not be easy for us emotional human beings to forgive and move on but we can trust our God that is possible and required through his grace. Proverbs 12.20 says that those who plan peace have joy. So if you need some joy in your life, you can plan ways of making peace and knowing the joy of bringing people back together. The opportunity to take offence is going to happen to all of us, but this verse challenges me to do a regular heart self-MOT to make sure I'm not holding a grudge for whatever reason that I don't jump to conclusions, but give people the benefit of the doubt. And if I'm not acting in love, to take it to God and ask him to help me deal with it before moving on and rebuilding that relationship. So why not take some time today to do this? Ask the Holy Spirit to show you if you're holding any offence and bring it to him for his forgiveness and wisdom in putting things right and restoring that relationship. Let's pray that we would be planners of peace rather than division, but above all else, guard your heart for everything that you do flows from it. God bless your church and have a joy-filled day.